Okay, everyone, I'm gonna show you some of the best ways to put out banded signs in Arizona. I'm right outside uh, Home Depot right now, and I'm gonna go look for a couple items that you're gonna need to, to make a really good banded sign and then put them out fast. So let's go inside and check it out. Okay, so an, another, um, another thing that I recommend, um, depending if you're using the wooden stakes or not, is duct tape. And the reason why is I usually will duct tape the very top of the wooden stake so whenever I hammer it in, it doesn't, the wood doesn't split. So you can get a really, you know, just basic two or three dollar duct tape that should work just fine. So, um, and, and that'll help uh, whenever you're putting these out into hard ground, definitely. Okay, also, whenever you're putting out banded signs, sometimes you're gonna wanna use H stakes. A lot of places that you buy banded signs from sell H stakes. Or if you're in the Home Depot, you can get these mason ladders and you can just cut those or have those cut for you. And they're, uh, they're actually a lot, of, lot cheaper. Usually these cost about a buck a piece through a bandit sign place. And you can usually get, let's see, I think it's, a, it's like about seven or eight of these. And uh, if you don't want to use the wooden stakes, you can use the mason ladders. And those work great on the, uh, on the signs with the flutes in them. Okay, so whenever you're putting out bandit signs, what seems to work really well, at least here in Arizona with our hard ground, is the wooden stakes. So you can come to Home Depot and they have, a, they have different sizes and different prices. But remember, if you're using an 18 by 24 sign, you're gonna need something a little taller than the 24 inch. Um, so what I typically recommend, it, or the 18 inch, is I actually like these three foot. Um, these three foot ones and they come in 12 packs and it looks like they're $7.98. So it's less than a buck a piece. Um, kind of give you an idea that whenever you put a little duct tape on the top and then you use the roofing nails to uh, put install the bandit sign onto the wooden stake, they're really easy to get into the ground. So check that out, hope that works. Okay, so I'm still in Home Depot and I just wanted to show you if you don't have access to buy blanks or buy pre-printed banded signs and you need to get some signs out really quick home depot always keeps some blanks in here um, and they typically come with an h stake I mean, they have smaller ones too or you can just go to your local sign shop that sells the corrugated plastic and you pick some up there but if you're in a rush and you need to get the word out fast trying to get a house sold or you know trying to find some some buyers for a particular area that's what i'm working on right now then you know feel free to stop by the little uh, mailbox and number sign area here and they have all the signs the for sale signed by owners uh, the for rent by owners um, it's in that section so hope that helps okay so one other thing that I recommend whenever you're putting up these signs is these little uh, roofing nails if you look they have the little plastic round caps on them it's uh, really easy to uh, use those because they, they drive into the stakes really simply um, they're about six bucks a box, seven bucks a box, um, and you get a ton of them. I think it's like 280 pieces or something like that. So uh, that's more than enough for what you're gonna need. And the little round cap keeps the nail from driving all the way through the sign. So it actually holds the sign on during the wind and rain and all that stuff. So that's a really good okay, tip. So now that you got your tape and you have your uh, roofing nails and your wooden stakes, you're gonna need something to drive the wooden stakes on the ground. Um, there's a ton of hammers back here. Um, the ones I like is either the basic hammer, like a, just a regular metal claw hammer, or they do have like these um, hard plastic mallets that are really good. Um, if you use these rubber mallets, they seem to bounce, you know, something with them, maybe a rubber coating, something like that, you know, 10 to 15 bucks. Don't go crazy. You're gonna use this over and over, so just keep this in a good place so you don't lose it. Um, and you probably want something similar to this. It has a nice little wide uh, spot on it to help drive that stake down. And uh, the hard metal, you know, on a metal claw hammer may actually split that wood. So this is a little bit better, I think, than the claw hammers. But use whatever you want. You can throw a little duct tape on the top of the wood stake to make sure it doesn't so split. Another thing that you may want uh, that's just right next to the hammers. Uh, depending on how many blank signs you get and if you want to cut those signs in half you can do that as well so one of the things you can do is get a basic um, you know the box knife 
uh, something really simple with a nice sharp blade on it and then you can just slice all of those bandit signs right in half if you want to make you know each bandit sign go a little bit farther and if, if you do that then you can also get the smaller wooden stakes which are a couple dollars cheaper as well so just another little tip for you okay so right behind me is um, some different staple guns um, staplers that you like hit against the wood and stuff like that if you don't want to use the roofing nails you can use something like this I just have noticed that a lot of times with the wind and things like that the staples seem to go through the corrugated plastic very easily and it kind of goes right through and the sign starts to rip off pretty easily but if you want something quick and easy that's a nice easy way it's not very expensive as well so there's some different types of staple guns right there. Okay, so one other thing I want to let you know is the type of markers you should use when you're handwriting your bandit signs. Um, I like the Magnum markers. They have a lot larger and bolder um, chisel edge, I guess, or tip. Um, that seems to, uh, you know, I don't have to go over it over and over. Um, it's really simple for me to, um, it's really simple for me to go and write the sign out quickly. Um, I don't have to go over the numbers multiple times with the smaller sharpies. It seems to be that that seems to be the issue. But these big fat uh, magnum sharpies are really good for you know handwriting your own banded signs. So let's just take a look there. Sharpie magnums, cool. Okay, everyone. So I'm pulling out of Home Depot and I wanted to show you. This is actually a good place to put out a couple banded signs once in a while. You can see a couple people have some out right now. Um, why Home Depots? Why Lowe's? Because these are these are your fix and flip guys. These are the guys buying houses, and these are the guys that are fixing them up. So it's actually a good place to stick a bandit sign or two at the parking lots of the Home Depots. Okay, guys. So I found um, a place online. I just Googled um, corrugated plastic signs, and I found this place that sells all the corrugated plastic signs to all the sign shops. So if you know, basically it's like the bulk pricing and wholesale pricing. So I, I got them for just around a buck a sign or so. So I'm gonna jump back and load up. I just picked up like 50 signs real quick so we can get some out. And uh, just Google in your local area, your city that you're in, corrugated plastic signs. And you can have the flutes run horizontal or flutes run vertical. So it just kind of depends what you want to do. If you want to put the H stakes in, you probably want to have the the vertical um, you know where they're going up and down there and if you want the uh, the wooden stakes you know where you're putting in the, the roofing uh, nails then you probably want to have those run horizontal so um, we're gonna jump back I got like half and half of each so we can put them out so there we go right behind me is the plastic place okay so I just jumped behind the building I'm gonna hand uh, the little slip for the uh, guys to load up the signs in the back of the car. It's a pretty simple process. Find a local place that does the plastic corrugated signs and you'll get them really, really cheap. So guys, there they are pulling the pallet full of uh, signs. We're gonna pick them out right now. Okay guys, so I'm gonna show you real quick how to put a couple uh, yard signs together. Um, this is a, a real simple way to kind of get some marketing out especially if you're trying to find some cash buyers. So as you'll see, I have my duct tape. I'll show you why we were gonna use that in a minute. Have my mallet or my hammer. I have my roofing nails with a little orange disc on here. You see that? Make sure you guys see all that, so awesome. And we got our big fat Sharpie markers. We have an H stake. Um, we have a wooden garden stake, and then we have we have a couple of different corrugated signs. So this sign right here, the flutes run this way, okay. And then on this sign, the flutes instead of running horizontal, they run vertical. They go this way, so it's easier to go and put these in the in the H stake. They go right in here, just like that. They go right in and you stick it right in the ground. Um, the ones with the horizontal flutes are really good for the wooden stakes um, and if you want to have extra signs you can take these ones and just cut them right you can just take this uh, this corrugated plastic sign you just cut it right in half and uh, just with a regular box knife 
and then you just made two signs. So um, I'm gonna show you real quick how to put this together. So um, what I typically do when I'm doing a wooden stake sign, it's a real simple thing. You just take some of the duct tape and you're gonna put it around, around the top of the stick. Okay, of the stake here. And the reason why I do that is very simple, is whenever you go to nail, uh, hammer this down, it actually keeps the wood from splitting, okay? So, and then you take your sign, you can write your stuff on it, whatever you need to, use your big fat marker on it. You basically only wanna have two to three lines, that's it, don't, don't put too much on the sign, you wanna make, your phone number the biggest thing at the bottom of the sign that everyone reads or at the top of the sign and then you can put the rest of the information in there you need to make sure that they see the phone number most important okay and then you take your your little roofing tags there and it's really simple just kind of start it out and push it right in and i usually put two on and it kind of keeps it from flying away just like that so if you look now we have a, a little circle here and a little circle up here you can put them right towards the top or whatever or right in the middle you write your message on there two to three lines phone number at the top okay and then the other one is our flutes run vertical so we can put our H stake together pretty simple H6, this goes in really simple and easy like that. And then whenever you go to put this on, you have a little place to put your foot right at the corners, okay? And if, it, if you're on grass, it'll go in pretty easy. You just kind of push back and forth on each side, and then ta-da, you have that sign up. Now the wooden stakes is something that we use a lot in Arizona because of the hard ground. So. That duct tape is keeping this wood from splitting. You want to put that in about six to eight inches in the ground. So that way you have plenty of room. And you want to have these taller stakes because a lot of times these taller stakes allow the drivers to be able to read it closer, closer to the eye level. Okay guys, so I'm over here on a Thomas Road in Scottsdale. I'm right by an entrance to uh, one of the neighborhoods where we have a couple properties for sale. And I uh, just wanted to kind of show you a little bit about the, show you the traffic here, see behind me. So we want to kind of get something that has a high traffic area, uh, people that are coming in and out of the neighborhood, so that way we can kind of get this uh, sign, get as many eyeballs on this sign as possible. So I got my sign right here. And uh, this is the one with the H stakes. So it's a real simple process. You just kind of get, get to an area that's kind of like a, a neutral area not maybe someone's yard and you want to kind of angle it so that way you get as many people to look at the prop uh, look at the sign as possible hope that helps